Um, so we again are looking at the interaction of what happens when we've got a charged particle that's moving in a magnetic field. So the interaction between um, the magnetic field and the charged particle. Um, the last video showed how to figure out the direction of the force on a charged particle, but it didn't really show the result of what happened due to that force. So that's what we're looking at now. Um, so let's say that I've got a positively charged particle moving to the right, and it's, it moves into a magnetic field um, that's directed into the board here. Well, my question is now, well, what is the pathway uh, that this charged particle takes? Now, first off, we've got to figure out the direction of the force on this uh, charged particle. Uh, so we, again, use our right-hand rule. Um, our finger is there, we've got to be pointed in the direction of V, and then uh, well, what do they have to do? They have to actually curl into the board. So in order to get them to curl into, our, into the board, I, I've got to turn my hand. Okay, now my fingers are pointed in the direction of V, and I, I can actually bend my fingers to point into the board. When they were like this, I couldn't, I can't bend my fingers in the direction of the magnetic field. I've got to turn my hand there so that now my fingers are pointed in the direction of V, my fingers will curl in the, into the direction of the magnetic field. My thumb shows the direction of the force. So right at this particular moment that I have drawn, the force on that charged particle is going to be upwards. Well, what happens as a result of that? Um, this charged particle starts to move a little bit upwards. Its, it's, it's trajectory changes. It's got an acceleration that's upwards. So this thing will start to curve a little bit. All right, well freeze frame here. Let's take a look at maybe the direction of the force at this particular moment. This thing is still going that is is still moving with the same speed it had before, but now um, the direction of its velocity has changed. All right. Let's take a look at the uh, direction of the force now. My fingers again have to point in the direction of V, but they've got a curl in the direction of B, and B is into the board. And y'all can see the direction of my thumb now. My thumb is pointing up and to the left. So as a result, my force is this way. Oh, okay. Well, this is changing the tra tra trajectory of the charged particle. It's making the, um, the, the charged particle's pathway bend some more. All right. Well, let's take a look and see what happens at this particular moment that I've got drawn out. Let's see. Fingers have to point in the direction of V and they have to be able to curl in the direction of, of the magnetic field B, um, it looks like my force is to the left. So here's my forces to the left. So I've taken a look at the direction of uh, my force at three different moments in time, and hopefully you all can see um, here that the pathway that I'm tra tracing out is basically a half circle. So anytime you've got a charged particle um, that's moving perpendicular to a magnetic field, that magnetic field is going to cause that charged particle to move in circular motion. So let's redraw this real quick. Kind of without... Be quiet, Keely. <laughs> Got our magnetic field there. And we're moving at some velocity v, and what happens? This thing will just curl around something like this. All right, so if it enters a magnetic field, it's actually going to go around in a half circle and exit a magnetic field, um, basically in a half circle. And for the sake of consistency here, my vectors had better be the same length because one thing a magnetic field can't do, a magnetic field cannot change the speed of our charged particle. It can change the direction of motion, but it can never change the speed because the force is always perpendicular to the velocity, so the speed can't change. All right.